If you have ventured onto the path of spirituality and self-growth, chances are that you've noticed that coincidences have increased tenfold. Chances are you're still telling yourself right now, though, that these coincidences are happening often enough that you're probably convinced there's something more happening in the universe than meets the eye. You don't know what yet, but one of the things that's happening is you're starting to notice numbers repeating. You're starting to see them everywhere. You're also starting to notice a funny thing happening with time. When you look at the clock, you're seeing 1111. What the hell does this mean? The truth you will become more and more aware of is that yes, there is something bigger to the universe than meets the eye. Something that you would do well to understand is that everything in this universe is interconnected and is therefore responding to one another. You are constantly being communicated with by the universe at large. So what does it mean that you keep seeing 1111? <laughs>11, 11 is known as the light bearer. Obviously, the number 11 is a master number. It's the first of the master numbers. It holds the same vibration as the angelic realms. 11 is the most intuitive number. Now, when 11 is duplicated, as it is with 1111, 11, all of these, let's call it associations that are formed with the number 11, are amplified. 1111 is the ultimate confirmation number. It's essentially a universal yes. When you see 1111, it's the universe communicating with you in a way where it's saying, yes, what you're thinking right now, what you're saying right now, or what you're doing right now is definitely confirmed by the universe at large. You are on the path, the path that you have decided on before coming into this life, the path that's in alignment with your purpose, the path that's in alignment with your desires. Another thing to understand about 1111, 11 in general, but 1111 especially, is that it's a link between polarities. It is the link between physical and non-physical. It's the link between divine and temporal. It's the link between shadow and light. It's the link between immortal and mortal. So obviously, 11 is also here, especially 1111, to teach you the concept of oneness. If you see 1111, it's a reminder of the fact that you are completely interdependent with this universe. You are a part of the universe at large. You need to restore yourself to your awareness of your own divinity. 1111 is an indication that your guides and angelic beings are there and that you're in alignment with them, and therefore your own path. It's a wake-up call to see yourself, obviously, as a divine aspect of the universe who has the potential, therefore, to master this time-space reality a manifestation of the divine who creates his or her own reality in harmony with the intentions of the greater universe. Oneness is the reality of this universe, and that includes you. The question is, at this moment, can you feel it? When you see the number 1111, what I encourage you to do is to become completely aware of what you were just thinking right before you saw that number or at the moment that you're seeing the number, because it's an indication that that thought is in the process of manifesting, and very quickly, so you have to become aware of whether or not you actually want that to manifest. Is the thought you're thinking in alignment with your desires? 1111 is a reminder that you are a divine aspect of the universe at large. As a result, it's like a wake-up call. You consider it a bell or a clap, wake up, from the physical dimension, which is a kind of hypnosis that we get into in day-to-day -day life. 1111 will remind you not only of who you really are, but of what's really going on with the big picture beyond this physical dimension. 1111 is an indication that a doorway has opened between the higher dimensional planes and the physical time-space reality. This makes it a doorway for manifestation of thought and intention into the physical. It in fact holds a similar vibration to a shooting star. You can set an intention or make a wish at the moment you see this number and consider it granted. Positive divine intervention slash assistance is given. So what does this mean if 1111 is the ultimate doorway between non-physical reality and physical reality? It means that it's the ultimate channeling number. Now what do we know about channeling? It's us bringing information from other dimensional fields into our conscious 3D physical awareness. This is why it's called the light bearer number. Because it's almost like when you see this number, it's an indication that this is the perfect time to receive guidance, information, intuition, or the things you've been trying to manifest. It's almost like these angelic beings, or light beings, if you will, are knocking on the door saying, look, we've got something ready to deliver to you, hence the light bearer. Long story short, 1111 is an incredibly auspicious sign. If you pay attention to the synchronicities that surround you, including the synchronicity of 1111, 
You can use them as signposts guiding you through the universe. You can use them as messages from the greater universe at large. As a result, it's much easier to navigate your way through this time-space reality. And it's a lot easier to get confirmation when confirmation is needed. The universe is talking to you at all moments of the day. The question is, are you listening? Are you watching? Have a good week.